Hello there, this is a video about how I made this uh, level and uh, this little birdie flying around here and uh, yep, how I set up all these things, uh, how, how I set up all these things it's a third week of my personal project challenge making a new open source game and project uh, every week so this is a third entrance I had almost no time this week but I managed to do at least this so I made it more as a level design practice that I could do while doing other things and listening to other things so importantly you can download it right here little birdie flying in his little world uh, I'm gonna leave a link in the description of course you can download it on github uh, do with it whatever you wish and uh, let's make sure to realize that uh, I did not make these assets I made just a level and the uh, bird behavior so bird animation is from SketchUp here and but it's quite important because uh, it's not you uh, because it still has set up all the dependencies to download these marketplace packs before you use the project quite important so please uh, do that and now let's actually uh, let's have a look at how it all works um, uh, I think the nature here is quite interesting because it's mostly procedurally generated so as uh, if you look here we have here a, a tree and the tree is built from a spline it's a blueprint tree branch uh, spline that you can adjust and build this tree however you want I am very likely gonna uh, work uh, and collect my own library of these kind of uh, tools that are quite useful for development but uh, this one is made from the uh, procedural nature pack uh, it's uh, used quite uh, simply and uh, also the trees here are made in the exact same way but I turned them into a meshes so let's maybe quickly look at that workflow because that I think is quite uh, important so if I adjust here the tree let me just get here a, a not reset I'm looking for procedural tree do, do, do. Spline blueprints, and we can find here a I don't know whichever doesn't really matter. Let's say this one. We can put it somewhere where we can actually see it. And just start growing this tree. There we go. We can add here some uh, branches, some directions, and directions, some rotations to make it a little bit more interesting. As this sort of a small bonsai, I can see there is some conflict with a uh, spline so we can just adjust it so it does not get crazily rotated okay something like this is quite nice I'm not gonna spend too much time on it right now but uh, once we have some setup like this we can uh, just simply adjust here the settings so let's say I would like to have here some branches let's put here some branches on this we can adjust the scale of the branches and etc etc let me just get rid of this okay <laughs> simpler enough and you can of course have branches on top of branches etc etc but now you can't really just use it for your uh, landscape too because we have here built a simple landscape and i would like to just make this into a static mesh and i could make multiple meshes uh, multiple projects like this in a static mesh you just want to make sure to select all of them and then here on the actor select on merge actors click on merge and this is going to turn it into a static mesh it can be a lengthy process so i'm just going to skip it for now but this is how i made a trees that i added here and then you simply choose a landscape tool and pick here whatever you want uh, well not the landscape tool it was a part of a landscape tool we're not talking about foliage you just select the tree you want to add and just start sculpting it on it there we go <laughs> all right uh, in the similar way i made this tree going through the house that was mainly why i was looking for a procedural nature because this is uh, exactly what i wanted to do to have either like these scenes where you have like a nature growing through old humans abandoned buildings so that was quite nice uh, i also made this uh, for some blueprints that we have here we have here like a hovering rock which is literally just move component to up and down nothing complicated if you click on play you can see it levitate up and down uh, nothing to really worry about uh, for the water there is a water unreal system with a river in it and then for our bird that we can have a quick look at it's the simplest possible code it's just gonna take our flying bird uh, when you press left mouse button it, it has the whole blueprint it's just a pawn it's not a character it has implemented floating pawn movement if you press left mouse button it's gonna set the maximum speed much higher so it keeps on speeding up 
if it's released it's locks it back onto 2000 right in here i have just one bird with looping animation i was thinking about uh, making it quite a bit more uh quite a bit more elegant and have there some animation blueprint that's gonna be like blending between depending on your height and all that but i did not have time so i just end up with this and it still works quite nicely surprisingly so it looks really good then for the actual actual movement uh, on the kick we are moving forward while he is alive that means when there is nothing uh, around the player just doing a sphere uh, around the bird doing a sphere trace around the bird and the moment something hits it the we simulate physics and then in five seconds later restart the game if it's if it's not hitting anything we can go and add input vector on our forward bone movement which is just a forward vector multiplied by speed and uh speed actually i'm using just as a constant here i'm not changing it and then on adding or changing mouse x and y which is actually not a good way how to do it it messes up the camera just to be clear but i really needed to finish it to keep it up so but if you want to fix something fix this first <laughs> so uh, because you can really tell that if you just move it surprisingly enough it kind of works for this bird but because it adds you this weird of a movement uh, that it looks like it's adjusting based on how we are flying but it should all even up and as you can see it's not evening out the camera is always screwed it's over a certain direction uh, but it works somewhat nicely can use our bird for that uh, if you are wondering about what of that um, delay that i get with a camera movement it's very simply just a uh, delay on our spring arm so camera is attached to spring arm spring arm is attached to skeletal mesh uh, we have here a lock camera lock and camera rotation lock about 7 7 and very low distance so we get uh, really zoomed in uh, there's a lot of things that could have been that could be done much much better i really put it together within like few last hour or so or last few minutes uh but uh there we go we can fly around and accidentally i managed to make the most drastic possible death i could have <laughs> like if i fly onto something it just looks like the bird is uh keeping completely demolished i'm gonna show you right away let me just speed up and there you go it's just the camera still being attached to it. it was complete accident i did not expect to make it this dramatic but this is quite horrible and yep, that's how it is all right uh i believe that's that's mostly it for the project there is really not that much programming uh it's more of a design and uh and uh, that's about it i'm possibly gonna use these levels in uh in this level in some other project that i later am gonna get to who knows it was also my first time working with 5.2 uh which was curious uh surprisingly stable really surprisingly stable and uh and then then uh, that's about it uh, you can download the project like i said on github you can do with it whatever you want if you want to contribute and start building this project as more of a community stuff feel free to do so you can just let me know or create a or pull uh, or create a branch and pull request and uh, that's about it for today uh, looking forward to you see you in the next video and if you like these things i'm doing i would appreciate you supporting me on a patreon it always helps so yep that's about it so fancy out